My name is Joel Ogren, and I'm 97 years old. Came into this church in 1945. I was transferred from Texas up to Fort Lewis. We settled here in uh, Olympia. Trusting and obeying, that's the main method that my dear mother taught me. Being taught by the word and living by the word. That's what I, why I am what I am is I was taught and I listened. by praying to him and talking to him, and he talked to me. Oh yes, Wonder, wonderful time, wonderful times uh, communing with the Lord. It's, a, it's been a great life. My youngest brother, Johnny was a hellfire brimstone preacher. He told me across from a table one day to seek the Lord more, that he will be a great blessing to me and, and give me power and strength. And I says, well, you don't need to have more than salvation to get to heaven. He says, true, but if you want to do something for the Lord, you need more. And he invited me to assembly over in Centralia, and I received baptism in the Holy Spirit. He has given me health and strength to carry on and to do that part that he has for me to do. It's, a, it's been a, a, a wonderful life to reminisce back on how, how the Lord does guide and direct if we'll allow him to. He, he has control. Years. I was I was so busy all the time that uh, it was a rat race completely all the time. Sunday school superintendent. Then I was uh, uh, on a board. I was a board member twice. I was on the board at the time that uh, we bought this property that we have here. We 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 as a congregation built this first part of the church. I nailed many and many a nail in there. I, my brother-in-law, who was a, a assistant seminary of God in the district for some years, Asked me point blank one day, he says, why don't you go into the ministry? I says, I wasn't, I wasn't called to go into the ministry. I am, I am what I call an exhorter, help, helper, bringing people into the fold. The joy in it is to those that have come to the Lord because of the work. First of all, we must seek the Lord. There is no limit what the Lord will do if we will only open our eyes, open our hearts, and open the Bible in our hearts and minds to seek the Lord. Hold on to the Lord, trusting in Him, period. Remember we were saying this song this morning, Trust and Obey? We have to do that. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to know that the Lord is with us.